Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the CSR NET December 2023. In this lecture, I will cover all those questions related to the integral equation. Myself, Dr. Harish Kar. You can simply follow my YouTube channel where you can find the playlist of the CSR NET and you can see the uh, December 2023 questions with the help of the shortcut fix is available. If you watch my this previous lecture that is related to the integral equation, that is a part two, and this is a part one, then the today's lecture is one of the easiest lecture for you. I have explained this lecture with the help of the shortcut tricks and the same way I can solve this question number one, this which is part C and this is part B. How you can solve this question within a 10 to 15 second? That is a very, very simple if you watch my these two lectures before the examination. Anyhow, if you don't watch it, you can watch it now so that you can learn the tricks and solve the question in a very simple manner. So let's start with this question. Now you can see the limits are my finite. So your target is to convert this into system of the equation. Fine. Once you know the system of the equation, you can get your answer very easily. How you can solve that? You can compare this equation with f of x plus lambda times kernel of x comma y and y of t dt fine limits are from say a to b so can you find the value of the k of x comma y you can see this is a x into t fine this value of lambda is my 3 now since it consists of only the single variable x and t fine so then your this a is my 1 minus lambda times f this and this b is my integration of g of x into fx that's over that's over you can solve this in a very simple manner limits whatever the limits are there in this particular example here now the question arises is what is the g you can see about these two values the one function which is a function of the x i call as a f f1 this is my g1 fine if you have the two function like x uh, x1 t1 plus x2 t2 and here now what is the alpha 1 1 the first parameter is with respect to the g fine this is with respect to the f now you can see how you can solve that as g into f that is with respect to the x you can solve this with respect to the x so what is that is x into x is x square limits are my 0 to 1 so what is the answer is 1 over 3 can you find the answer of this 1 minus 3 1 over 3 is equal to 0 fine so this becomes my 0x is equal to b now they have admit at least one solution that means either the unique solution or infinitely many solution but unique solution will not be possible so only infinite solution when it will be the infinite solution when your b what is the g is of here gx fx is my here it is unknown to me so when it will be infinite many solution when this integration will be zero then only the rank of the a and rank of the a by b are same then only it has a infinitely many solution now look at the option and you can see which one is the correct option now i can solve this look at the first option if I take the first option x into x square minus 1 over 2 from the 0 to 1. So it's x cube 1 over 4 x square is here. So what is the answer of this is my 0. So yes, the first answer is the correct option. Look at the second option x into e raised to power x. So what is the integration of this x minus 1 e raised to power x from 0 to 1 which is non zero. So it means this option is cancelled out. Look at the third option. Integration of the x into 2 minus 3x. So what is the integration of that? It's a 2x. That means x square. It's a 3x square. So x square means x cube over 3 from 0 to 1. So clearly say it is my 0. Yes, this is also the correct option. Look at the fourth option. x into x minus 1. So it's a x square. That means x cube over 3 x means x square over 2 over the domain 0 to 1 clearly say which is non-zero so the right answers are my a and c are the correct answer 
you can see once you can simply change into the system of the equation you will get as the answer very easily i recall you what is the concept is you can change into the system of the equation where a is my 1 minus lambda times f11 where alpha 11 is integration from a to b first part is my g this is my g1 into f1 of dx fine and how you can find the value of the b this is my g into this is my right hand side of this function remember this is my g1 and this is f it is not that f it is a right hand side function look at the second part again you can see if i compare this function by here fx plus lambda times x square e x e t y t of d so what is my fx fx will be zero find what is my kernel is x square e raised to power x into e raised to power t find your target is to change this into the system of the equation find this is my f1 this is my g1 so what is my b firstly i can see the b b is my g1 into fx so what is my fx if you compare fx is my zero so this integration is my zero fine now when the ax is equal to zero it admit a non zero solution when only the determinant of a will be zero fine so that means what is the a a is my 1 minus lambda times alpha 1 1 so can you find the alpha 1 1 easily is a g1 into f1 with respect to x so this is a g1 x square e raised to power x so what is that it's a x square into e raised to power 2x the limits are my 0 to 1 now can you integrate it as i already told you the shortcut takes for the integration you can take the polynomial you can find the derivative until it becomes a zero and on this side you can take the integration 2x by 4 2x divided by 8 and then you can multiply this with the plus sign multiply this with a negative multiply this with the plus sign so what is the right answer of this e raised to power 2x i can say common then it's x square by 2 min minus x over 2 plus 1 over 4 from 0 to 1 So what is the limit of this e raised to power two? Is a half minus half cancel out. Is a one over four e raised to power zero zero minus zero plus one over four. So what is that? E raised to power two minus one over four. So what is the value of the a? A is what is the lambda is? Is again a lambda into e square minus one over four. Now this should be zero. So what is the value of the lambda? It is a four over e square minus one is the right answer of this problem you can see i solve both the question by changing into the system of the linear equation that approach you can easily see in my these two lectures i recommended you you can watch it and i am pretty sure that once you can watch you can solve any kind of the integral equation within a 10 to 15 second or hardly the 30 seconds are there as i explain you that's why i have written each and everything here but once you are comfortable with that you can easily solve this problem within a fraction of second you can join my whatsapp group also where you can discuss the various tricks by scanning this bar code i will come up with my next solution till now you can simply like and share and comment on videos best of luck students happy learning